Hey guys, I'm Simitos Kin, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes! I don't have enough information. I should return and investigate further. And freaking dang it, I thought I was fixing to do some science or something. I go back and investigate. So we're on a case where a dude has disappeared, and we're trying to figure out where he went. What is that? What is that? That was a flower. Okay. So apparently I've missed something, and I can go back and see. What have I missed? What have I missed? What have I missed? Something. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh! The lock was not cracked. The lock was not cracked. Well then. Oh, oh, oh! Flaxen. Yellow in color. Is that what I needed? Is that what I needed? Is that it? 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 I think that's it. Maybe, 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 maybe! Hey, what's, what's up? What do you make of this, Holmes? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Suit yourself, Mr. Up. Is that it? Is that everything? Did I get it all? Let's see. Small lump, fish scale, fibers. Actually, I got a thing pulled up on the side over here just to make sure that I get everything so I don't have to freaking go through forever trying to, you know, getting stuck and stuff. Let's see. Did I get everything? Should be everything, I believe, for this area. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see if I can go back now. Can I go back? Is it enough? I don't have enough information. I should return and investigate further. What am I missing? I have no idea what I'm missing. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me go over here and cheat, I guess, because freaking there's something that I just don't have. It won't let me go anywhere. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Oh, okay. Force, piece of cloth. Uh, enter, drawing on the ground, escape ways, find fishes, look at the bowl, the wall, the freaking ball. Are you serious? Are you, I figured out, I f okay. <laughs> okay, game. Okay, game. Apparently, I'm not thorough enough. Footsteps. Let's see. The right shoe is missing a nail. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I guess. God dang it. Okay, so that should be everything I need, I think. That maybe now that's everything I need. Golly. Okay, here we go. Come, Watson. We must return to Baker Street. What do you make of this, Mr. Holmes? Mr. Stenick, I wish my news were your servant simply left your employment voluntarily for the service of a more honest man. Unfortunately, I don't have that pleasure. In truth, the news is grim indeed. Your servant was seen in the company of two men yesterday. One of the two is a man of moderate size, very robust, and a mature age. His profession, which will be the key element in our investigation of this affair, will be determined by me within few hours. The other is a young Hindi, who is tall and only recently arrived in England. There is a darker side to these events. Your man was not with them by choice. Rather, the evidence shows he was kidnapped. At this moment, the reasons behind this villainous act are unknown, but rest assured, the truth will not elude me for long. Gentlemen, I wish you a good day. Come, Watson, we must hurry. There's a great deal to do and little enough time to spare. 
Hmm. A mystery. Holmes, I must protest. You did not spare my client, Captain Stenick. This seems unusually harsh. That may be, Watson, but now what matters more is to know the reasons behind the kidnapping of this young Aboriginal yesterday evening in central London, and more importantly, what has become of him. I must concentrate on a small experiment. I will run to test my theories. Please go to the poor Lovelorn Barnes and ask him if he has something on the Maori nation and its traditions. Also, if you should happen to see the newsboy outside, find out what he knows, and if it has value, give him a coin. And for God's sake, don't be a miser, Watson. A miser? You cost me one of my patients, and you question my level of generosity with your informers? Oh, really, Holmes? Sometimes you go too far. <laughs> Shame on you, Holmes. Okay, so... <sighs> Now it can't be used for anything. I'm an idiot. I don't know what to do. That. Okay, water. That. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Am I if I... Okay. Hmm. The meatball ignited but failed to burn completely. There are, without a doubt, mustard seeds present, probably in exotic form. What could be the other components, I wonder? Opium. Okay, just making sure I got everything, because apparently you got to do everything very carefully in this game. Let's see. According to this monograph... But what? Shoot, I clicked... Fish skill, found the footsteps, sticks, garden skills, identically that of a perch, saltwater fish, high commercial value. Interesting, interesting. Caught it up? No, okay. Fiber. These rope fibers are clearly hemp. Now, about the origin of these stains. Okay. Alright, yeah, okay. What else we got? Hmm, very interesting. What? What is interesting? There's a hole. Piece of cloth, uh, woven flax. This cloth is dyed yet not in England without the slightest doubt the material originated from India. Take it account the high the in uh, explanation of the large man. Across the threshold. However, there's no trace of such a man in the garden, which had land in such a way as to leave no trace when he jumped, and his shoes have a smooth, flat sole. Like Indian slippers, with other evidence include this man is undoubtedly Indian and arrived in England only recently. Huh. Very interesting. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 Water. Nothing. Solvent. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Now it can't be used for anything. 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 <laughs> what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do here? I mean, what am I needing to click on? Now it can't be used for anything. Well, shoot. Oh, here we go. We got other things to click on. Nothing. Now it can't be Water. used for anything. Water. Solvent. Now it can't be used for anything. Uh, acid. Oh. Perhaps if I apply heat? Maybe. Where's my matches?
Incredible. I note a strong presence of opium blended with a concentrate of morphine. The remaining elements are a mystery to me. Opium and morphine. Small up. Okay. Contains opium blended with a strong... Oh, excuse me, 440. Huh. Interesting, interesting. So let's... Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Yes. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't Spirit. be used for anything. Water? Now it can't be used for anything. Solve it. Okay, here we go. This is evidently coal soot mixed with water, and given the absence of any salt particulates, it must be fresh water. Hmm. There were stained traces of black dally coal mixed with water. The water is fresh and found no presence of saline. I should look from the window and see where Watson is. Oh, I'm Watson now. Okay. There's a good lad. How does it go? Hello, sir. My associate, Sherlock Holmes, said you might have information for him about... about... Uh, now, what was it? The Princess Gav. He was looking for the scuttlebutt on this here princess what we visiting. Exciting goings on. Her bodyguard went missing the first morning after she got here. Nice job to look after a princess's body, isn't it, sir? They say he went out on a town having a go with the ladies, if you get my meaning. Like as not, he was trapped by some gang of toughs. Otherwise, who'd get the best of him? A proper giant he was, by all accounts. Do I get me coins then, sir? Oh, thank you, sir. Obliged, I'm sure. Hmm. Hmm. What else did he say to do? I don't even know. Oh, dropped my phone. So I can't go back here yet. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can. Holmes, what else did you want? Please, Watson, leave me to my thoughts. I must concentrate. <laughs> no one loves me. Hmm. I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the bookstore. That's where I'm supposed to go. Watson. Okay, he does run. Never mind. Right, let's see. Uh, bookstore. Good morning. Has your sprain improved? Good morning, Dr. Watson. It is slowly showing improvement. What can I do for you? Would you happen to have a book on the Maoris? If I have one available, it would be on that bottom shelf. Although, I'm not sure if I still have that particular book. Please don't trouble yourself. I will look for it. Don't don't worry, don't move, please. Just stay over there. Found it, okay. Uh, Maoris, crypt. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Good day. Goodbye, Doctor. Good day. Good day. Come on. Okay, so now I can go back to Baker Street. What's up? Holmes, what on earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant. It must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. What part of London would such a man call home? Really? Really? There's a quiz or something? Uh, let's see. Does this, let me go over here and, does this say anything about the, oh. Gotcha. So like the docks. 
Yes, Watson. There is little room for doubt. Our man is a bargeman who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. Well, let's go. But he wasn't even tell you the, the news. It's my room. Okay. Need a cab, a cab, a cab. Hey, cab. Hey, horsey. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Hey, horsey. Uh, let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go, horse. <laughs> the horse is talking to me, right? No. Why did we come here, Holmes? Brr, it's rather sinister here and so cold. The blood? Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. Just water, okay. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now. Look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. Oh, the devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. <laughs> and to add to me worries, imagine last summer I had worms. Worms? Yes, worms is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night, again with only the one hand, and a blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. Well, we're out of here. See you later. <laughs> Whoa, worm man scratching his butt with a hook. Gross. Alright. Uh, let's see. Here's a hook on the front. Should be over here. There we go. Okay, it's fast travel. Is that an option? No. Okay. No, there it is right there. Okay. No one is here. Oh, oh! Who's that over there? Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? Aho Nitra. Shigong Se Nitra. Ah, Nitro. Tro. Bo Petro. Toro Mitro. Toka. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. 
could he have run away to sea, or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsein, but prezindra kum. Bo petro toro mitro ka waekta dorikoto a nito tro petro. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. Sundra brokhet hardu. Odaliga toro mitro ka petro doka a nito waekto rikota. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Shut up, Watson. Don't ask questions. We gotta investigate. What are these? Petro, Shush. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. So I can get a guess. What now? What now indeed? No one is here. What do you make of this, Holmes? I was kinda hoping you would have a hint for me, actually. <laughs> but you don't see. I have no idea what to do. Okay, good. Whew. Oh man. Zombie. Drunk zombie. <laughs> Sounds like he's doing something dirty that box, really. Oh, oh, burp, excuse me. Oh, God, box. All right, I get it. He's drunk. Let me go talk to him or something. Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh, oh. It's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well, let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where turnips. are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Well then, let's go find the people that are brewing up this stuff. And ask him where they got them turnips at, I guess. It's dangerous. I ran right into that. Dead. Okay. Come on, Watson. 
get my knife out because I gotta fight someone. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe there's something on the map. I bet the pub knows something. Hey, buddy, tell me where's that. Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers. A nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship, because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. During his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. Hmm. Table behind the curtain. Now oh, that one. These cuts seem quite recent. There are four symbols. The name. Okay, be thorough. You missed something. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Guess that's that. I have no reason to go there. Let's go see if we can find the uh, brewers. like a bunch of nothing down here. I think they'll be over there by that guy. Go back over there, I guess, right quick. Barrels. Customs. Can you tell me where they may be, sir, please? Oh, my... How about this way? Part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Hmm. Bottles and a lot of turnips. I think so, what about it? Oh, hello! I am missing something. Missing. But where are you off to, Watson? It is time to seek out. Yeah, the I got that. Shut up. Missing something. What am I missing? But where are you? Shut up. Watson, it is time to Shh. seek out the. Shh. Let's see. it. I'm going to figure out where we exactly need to go right quick and uh, we'll come back and we'll get back on the case. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and stay toasty my friends.